Good afternoon. My name is Bill Garnett. I'm a graduate of class of 1960 from Sawanica. I am here to honor two students for the class of 1960, the class of 1960 graduate of merit awards in honor of Fred Burgess. Student of good academic standing, of strong moral character, who demonstrates service to school and community. The award goes to Hiba Aga. Also a student who demonstrated good services to the school in instrumentation and automation. The student is Rahul Maharajan. Thank you, and both students have a successful life in college. Hello, Suwanaka High School class of 2021. My name is Archie Walker. Fran Walker, my mother, taught English at Suwanaka High School for 28 years. Some of her students included lover of poetry and lacrosse legend Eamon McEnany and acclaimed writer Thomas Mallon. In addition to teaching, Fran Walker directed several student musicals, was the faculty advisor for the Chieftain Student Newspaper and the Arrow Literary Magazine. Under her supervision, these publications won many awards. As a tribute to her memory, I am here to present the Fran Walker Poetry Award for excellence in poetry. Cassandra Prasad is this year's award winner. Cassandra will attend Adelphi University this fall and will major in computer science. Congratulations, Cassandra. I wish you every success in life. My name is Judy Stiano and I am the president here at Swanica High School of the PTSA. Today I'm pleased to announce the winners of our PTSA awards. Every year the PTSA awards students, seniors, who have been members along with one of their parents of the PTSA for their whole time here in the high school, grades 9 through 12 or if you start in 10th grade, 10 through 12, whatever. Um, this year we are awarding six senior students with one of our five awards. The first award is the Robert Andrews Spirit Award. Robert Andrews was a former principal here and we're pleased to be able to offer an award in his name. This award goes to two seniors who have demonstrated strong school spirit throughout their many extracurricular activities such as being a Swanica High School athlete, uh, captain or co-captain of their team, participating in class board, being members of many of our honor societies and holding officer positions in those, uh, members of the robotic team, taking part in our musicals, class board and key club. They have enthusiastically volunteered their time for homecoming, fundraising and spirit day as part of their involvement with these organizations. This year, two Robert Andrews Awards goes to Jessica Diaz and Vanessa Cruz. Congratulations, girls, and thank you for your amazing school spirit. The next award is the Minna Cooper Future Educator Award. And this award goes to a senior who is pursuing a degree in education. The student selected has volunteered to work with the Hans Family Foundation and with our district elementary school students to help them learn their lines for our annual Christmas play. This student found her inspiration to pursue a degree in early childhood education through her teachers and their teaching techniques, engaging lessons and activities and their positive attitudes. And she hopes to have the same effect on her future students. This year, the Mina Cooper Future Educator Award goes to Stephanie Milinek. 
Congratulations and thank you to your commitment to education, Stephanie. Our next award is a new award. It is called the Carol Herbeck Above and Beyond Award. Um, sadly, at the end of June last year, the Elmont community lost a great children's advocate, our first vice president of our PTSA, and our very dear friend, Carol Herbeck. Carol worked with children as a one-on-one -on -one aide and was an advocate for all children and went above and beyond to help them. In her honor, we have established a new PTSA Spirit Award called the Carol Herbeck Above and Beyond Award. This award will be given out to a senior who has either worked to overcome challenges to achieve their goal and or a student who has demonstrated dedication to children, their education and their well-being. This year's recipient of the Carol Herbeck Above and Beyond Award goes to a student who was determined to achieve anything they put their mind to. They have routinely been making honor roll and high honor roll and have participated in school clubs and activities. This senior has learned to adapt to different situations and in doing so has become a stronger and more self-confident person and will be pursuing a degree in elementary education. The Carol Herbeck Above and Beyond Award this year goes to Michael Murphy. Congratulations and thank you for your inspiring determination, Michael. Our last award is the Frank Ragona Community Service Award, and it goes to two students who have demonstrated outstanding community service and school spirit. Their collective community service is very impressive and includes, among many other things, being part of the Dad's Club Thanksgiving Day Food Drive placing flags on the graves of our veterans, participating in many American Legion parades, helping to maintain local community gathering places in their churches by cleaning, painting, or landscaping them, volunteering to help cook and clean and decorate rooms at Ronald McDonald House and soup kitchens, and also visiting the residents of a local senior care facility and chatting with them and performing holiday carols for them. These two students have also been very involved with our school through athletics and I'm sorry, and various clubs. This year, our Frank Ragona Community Service Awards go to Daniel Dennehy and Alexi Schneidmuller. Congratulations and thank you both for your outstanding community service. I wanna congratulate all of our winners and thank you all and your parents for your continued PTSA support and participation. The Clara H. Carlson PTA is pleased to present a senior award to Blanca Castillo in memory of Patricia Marino. Good evening. My name is Sharon Early Davis, and on behalf of the officers, members, riders, sons, and auxiliary of the Elmont American Legion, I would like to present our senior award to Mr. Patrick Dempsey for 2021. Congratulations on your future endeavors, and congratulations to all the honorees. Hi, I'm Don Clavin. I'm the supervisor here in the town of Hempstead. Tonight I have the honor of presenting a service community award to an outstanding student who accomplished so much not only in the classroom, but in their community. And this year means more to me than other years. Why? Because we're coming out of this pandemic. It's been a really difficult year for all of our students, but for our seniors, you face so many hurdles. And to have this ceremony in some fashion is really, really important for you, for your families and the faculty so you really understand the significance of your accomplishment. With everything that's gone against us, you succeeded. And really, that's what it's about. And that's why I'm glad to participate here today. You do so much in your classroom. You're doing so much with so many restrictions and so many problems. This is at least a way we can say congratulations to you. So now, it's your time. It's your award. And tonight's recipient is Chelsea Mariquin. 
Congratulations on your accomplishments, both in school and out. Everyone's really proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself. Hi, my name is Vincent Mascarella, and I'm privileged to be here uh, issuing a Student Citizenship Award to Sawanica High School. Many years ago, I graduated from Sawanica, as did my brothers, my sister, a bunch of my cousins, and actually my mother also. So it's, just, it's, a, it's a, a real privilege for me. Congratulations first to the entire class of 2021. It's been a tough year, but you've persevered, and now you're on to bigger and better things. On behalf of the Nassau County Legislature, it's my privilege to issue the Student Citizenship Award this year to Alexa Rambaran. Congratulations, Alexa, and if you're ever in front of, uh, in, in this area of Mineola, please stop by the legislature and we can say hello in person. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hello, my name is Anna Kaplan, and I am your New York State Senator, proudly representing the 7th Senate District here in Nassau County. Several years ago, I established a tradition in our community of presenting Trailblazer Awards to students who show exemplary performance in their studies and outstanding service to their communities, no matter what the obstacles they may face in their lives. This year, it is my honor and privilege to recognize Suwanika's Trailblazers, Amal Bali, Justin Nicholas, Selena Ragubar, Karina Thomas. Congratulations to Amal, Justin, Selena, and Karina on this great achievement. And best of luck to all of you in your next chapter. Hi, this is State Senator Todd Kaminsky, and every year, every high school in my district produces one student star and tells my office about a very special student who excels in every capacity, inside and outside of the classroom, and is known to be a leader to his or her peers. And we know this person won't just be a leader today, but will be one tomorrow also. And this year's student star from Sawanica is Surin Armagon. Surin, congratulations on all you have done, and best of luck on all you will continue to do.
Dexter McCray. I'm the football director for the Elmar Cardinals Sports Club. And on behalf of the Elmar Cardinals, I'm here to present the Dan McCray Scholarship Award, named after my father, who was a member of the Elmar community for over 60 years and was an Elmar Cardinals football coach for over 25 years. My father attended Swanica High School, class of 73. Myself also attended Swanica High School, class of 04. I just want to say congratulations to the whole graduating Swanica class of 2021. You guys have done it. You've made it. I know it wasn't easy, but you guys have, have, have made a great accomplishment, and you should be proud of yourselves. And this year's recipient for the Dan McCray Scholarship Award goes to Derek Mandarin. Congratulations, and I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. And always remember, pain is temporary, pride is forever. Once again, congratulations to Swanica graduating class of 2021. Hi, Suwanika. It's Flo Hunt, alum of 2019. Yes, the girls basketball team. I am here to present the Leaders Are the Real MVPs Award. This award is given to a leader on the women's basketball team who is influential, inspirational, always hypes up her team and sacrifices for her team, fights against adversity and does everything that she can. Our family created this award because that is who I was on the team and I would love to continue to see people who are better than me, better leaders than who I was, and just continue to pass the torch on. So without further ado, I would love to give this award to Ashley Artillas. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being an awesome leader. You are so loved. And congratulations again to you and everyone else. Bye. Good evening, everyone and congratulations to all the recipients tonight. My name is Evans Oscar, 2017 alum, and today I have the honor and privilege of representing a new scholarship award tonight, the Stefan Smitty Smith Memorial Scholarship Award. This award represents a very close friend of mine and a 2017 alum. Those who knew Stefan knew him as outgoing, funny, kind-hearted, dedicated, and all around loving to his friends, family, and community. Throughout his years in Salonika, Stefan was very active in school and his community by playing two varsity sports, football and lacrosse, participating in percussion in school and in church, and by overall being a helping hand and a person with a smile. Like Stefan, these two recipients receiving the award tonight played a varsity sport for at least two years, maintained a 3.0 GPA, participated in band, chorus, or orchestra, will continue their education and overall have the same moral character as he had in any situation in life. The first recipient of the, this first ever award goes to John Hector Sierra, congratulations. The second award goes to Carmen Gurley, congratulations you too. And to continue your legacy as well as his, your names will be placed on a plaque in the Fairley Hall of Fame, so congratulations on that. And once again, just an overall big congratulations for being the first recipients of this award. First time ever. So congratulations and thank you. And I wish you guys the best. Man, what a year it's been. Although we're still not able to do this in person, it means so much to me to be able to present this year's recipient of the Dr. Victoria Tripodi Memorial Scholarship. Vicky, as we would call her, I'm her youngest nephew, Stephen. And something that meant so much to her and what she dedicated her life to was education. Uh, whether it was her time as summer camp counselor at the Southampton Fresh Air Home, where she was helping and working with wheelchair-bound kids, or her time as superintendent at the School for Visually Impaired in Illinois, uh, or when she retired from her career here in education at Sawanica. Uh, something that meant so much to her and something that remained the same was that learning knows no bounds. Uh, what this means to her is anyone can achieve, right? Especially those who are told that they can't achieve. And why she believed this is because she was told she cannot achieve. 
uh, and she did. So each year it makes us so happy uh, to be able to present this award uh, and, and read uh, the achievement that we've asked you to describe and what you've overcome. We all could write a book about uh, this past year. Uh, we've lived through some unprecedented time. But reading this year's winner was so purposeful and, re and uh, relevant to us. Uh, the recipient of this year's award faced a similar loss like our family did. Uh, I lost my big brother, Vicky's uh, oldest and favorite nephew, <laughs> in a very similar way. Um, so uh, in, your, in your response, you discussed how you overcame this and how you didn't know you would get uh, through this. And I, I understand what, what you've been through, and it makes me so happy to see that you've gotten through it and that you're getting through it. Uh, so we would like to present this award to Julia Broadman. Uh, you've overcome some unbelievable achievements. We're so happy to see you here. We're so happy to present you with this award, and we wish you all the best in all your future endeavors. Good evening. My name is Linda Aizavaya, and I represent the Order Sons of Italy, Cellini Lodge number 2206. First and foremost, we would like to congratulate the entire graduating class. You have proven to be the most resilient class yet. If you can make it through this year, you can make it through any year. Best of luck in all your future endeavors. We are proud this evening to present the Italian Language Award to Jessica Diaz. We are also proud to present the Citizenship Award to Miss Antoinette DePierno. Congratulations, and we encourage you to continue studying the Italian language and promoting our beautiful Italian culture. Club of Floral Park Burroughs is a service club serving others locally, nationally, and internationally, spreading goodwill worldwide. For example, we recently planted a kindness butterfly garden at the Floral Park Centennial Gardens, and earlier this month, we donated 5,000 masks to the volcanic ravage island of St. Vincent in the Caribbean. For years, we have provided awards to worthy local students who have been recognized by their schools. In that spirit, this year the Rotary Club of Floral Park Bellrose is presenting the Sawanica High School Youth of the Year Award to Imani Marshall. Okay, good evening. I'm Donna Campbell, and it's my pleasure to be here to present the award for Voices for Elmont Community Service Scholarship to the student with the most outstanding commitment to community service. This award is in honor to my sister, Barbara Reynolds, who was dedicated to serving the community and her work has had a tremendous impact on many. The student selected for this prestigious award is Jean Hector Solar Sierra. Congratulations. Good morning. My name is Simone Luke Forbes and I am the Scholarship Committee Chair for the Gift of Giving Foundation. On behalf of the Gift of Giving, we would like to present Ramisha Khan with the Virginia Brown Scholarship in the amount of $750. Ramisha, we congratulate you and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you.